So today we will see uh, how to increase the range of this uh, project planner. So just uh, the template project planner, gun project planner is already available in Excel. I'm using Excel 2013. So you just see this template gun project planner is already available, predefined template in Excel. And uh, this is how it looks. It helps you keep your tasks organized, keep your project, maybe small or big project, um, keep it organized. So quick view, quick overview. So this one is you can increase or decrease just to have just to have an eye on your pro progress in between. As you can see, if you just increase it or decrease it, moves. it's kind of a marker kind of. And then here, uh, these things are already formatted. These color shadings and then what you are seeing it like actual plan percentage computer. These are already formatted. So all you have to do is you can edit this to write your own activity, your own task. Say for example, uh, uh, drawing a plan for your for a building or something like that. So as per your task, you can just edit this. It's a normal cell, and this one you can just uh, edit these, and then you can see this automatically changing. You can see it's like for example, plan start is one and plan duration is five. That is why it is five. The plan is five. This this kind of sharing is there till five days. So if you increase it, for example, to ten days. You can see this getting increased to 10, right? So, all you have to change is here your plan, your actual, and your percentage. If you just increase the percentage, say 75 percentage, you can see this increasing it. So, all, just by editing here, you can just uh, this gets changed automatically. Now, uh, the main aim of this, this short video is to show how to increase. So, here you have only up to 60. In the predefined template, you have only up to 60. So in case if you want, if you have more, for example, if you if this one two three is how you are taking this interpreting this one two three is up to you. Sorry, how you are interpreting this one two three is up to you. For example, this one two three can be your uh, number of days or it can be the number of weeks, week one, week two. It's it's up to you. So for, uh, when I, I interpret this as number of days, so if my project goes up to 90 days, then I need 30 more entries here, right? So these 30 more entries when I need, I need to, it means that I need the same formatting what has been done here, which means when I put say 80 here, I need this sharing for 80 days right? but right now you have only for 60 days because it's formatted only for 60 days so how to uh, change this is what we are going to see it's very simple conditional formatting manage rules um, it's this worksheet so you can see here the actual rules what they have did so here you can see the range is from i9 to bp34 right it's from bp34 so BP34 is what is here means for till 60 days when you want for 90 days say it means for example 30 more days so I do fill series so we'll take up to 90 for example so you can see it is CT right so just change here this BP to CT34. So this instead of BP34, it's CT34. So it's CT34. I just copy this place to. Everything. Yeah, that's it. Right. 
apply and now you can see this formatting has been applied or extended from 60 till you can see the difference in sharing rate so now if you give for example 85 days as your plan then you can see this going up to 85 right? so, thanks for watching